Have you been dreading the proverbial first date? Has it been a while since you've been out for a night on the town? Especially with someone you really, really like? Are you scared of all the things that could possibly go wrong? You want to give off the right impression and hopefully get to that all-important second date. This sounds rather difficult to achieve, but it's actually not. Don't worry, we've got you covered. Here are six common first date mistakes and more importantly, how to avoid them. Number one, over or under dressing. How do you dress on a first date? Do you overthink things or do you not plan enough in advance? This one can be pretty tough to navigate. As a first date, you probably don't know each other all too well. First impressions aren't everything, but they are very important. You don't want to show up with the nicest outfit you have because it may come off like you're trying too hard. If your date is dressed comparatively less fancy than you, they may be made to feel worse about themselves. You also don't want to underdress and come off too casually. If you show up in your workout clothes, for instance, your date may think that you're not taking them seriously. Try a happy medium of casual mixed with fancy. Find a sweet spot that both looks good but is also still comfy and choose something that makes you feel confident and true to yourself. Number two, showing up late. How do you feel when someone shows up late to meet you? Think back to a time when someone kept you waiting. Doesn't feel too good, huh? Now imagine that was your first impression of them. Do you show up late often? Nobody likes to be kept waiting. If you show up late to the date, that special someone won't think they're very special anymore. Even when you do finally show up with the best excuse in the world, whether it's true or not, it won't matter to them. Your date will feel like their time doesn't matter to you. This will automatically start the night off on the wrong foot. You'll be fighting an uphill battle the entire time. One, you most likely won't win. To avoid this, this, you can do some healthy planning in advance. Knowing when the date is supposed to start, you'll want to figure out the best way to get there, whether that's taking a car, the bus, or even walking. Maybe you're a bicycle enthusiast, which isn't a bad thing, but that physical exertion may cause you to sweat through your fine clothes. Worst of all, your stench will precede you. Yuck. Give yourself ample time to get to the location in question while being relaxed and ready. If you find this video relatable and helpful, please give the video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Now, moving on to the next point. Number three, complaining about the service. How do you feel when someone continuously complains about the service at a restaurant? Complaining about the service is a surefire way of having your date be entirely unimpressed with you. The service industry is one of the toughest industries that you can ever work in. If you're at a restaurant for dinner and they're in the middle of a big crazy rush, your server may not be around as much as you may like. Bad mouthing other people that are working hard and doing their best to please you will likely be a quick turn off for your date. If you're able to have patience with slower than desired service, your date will see your empathetic side. If you can show patience, they may feel more comfortable around you because you'll come off as more likely to be patient with them later on down the line. Remember to always tip your servers. You don't want to end up being like Mr. Pink in Reservoir Dogs. Number four, bringing up your exes. Have you ever been on a first date with someone who brought up their ex too soon? This is a big red flag. Along with complaining about the service, talking about your exes on a first date may just make your date go to the bathroom only to never come back. Many of us have baggage. It's very likely that your date themselves has baggage coming into this first date too. The problem with bringing up your exes this soon could potentially make them think you're not over the past. Your date won't want to compete with other people you've dated before. If you end up fully dating this person in the future, when things are more certain and you're both more comfortable with each other, then it would probably be okay to bring up your past. Until then, do your best to keep things going positive in the present. If the person agreed to go on a date with you in the first place, it's because they like you for the person you are today. Number five, 
talking about your fetishes. To be clear, there's no kink shaming to be had here. As long as the acts are consensual between the parties involved, people should be able to like what it is that they like. That being said, talking about your favorite fetish between buttering bread may not be the best approach. If you're lucky, your date may have similar sexual tastes as you. In that case, phew, you really dodged an awkward bullet there. If you're not so lucky and your kink is eternal for your date, it could be pretty difficult to salvage the impending awkwardness. If the date's gone well, you may feel emboldened to open up about these types of intimate things. It's probably best to play it safe and hold that card close to your chest until a later date. Maybe date five? Number six, making the other person pay for you. Nobody likes a cheapskate. If you insist your date pays for you, several thoughts will likely run through their mind at super speed. Can you not afford to take them out on other dates? Can you afford to pay your bills? Are you responsible with your money? If you're on a date with a person who agrees in being equal, they may offer to split the bill. It's always kind when someone offers to pay for you as well. These are both good ways to know what kind of person they are in return. Have you made any of these common mistakes before on a first date? Feel free to share your experiences in the comments down below. First dates can be super exciting, just as much as they can be totally terrifying. Hopefully, this list can give you a good idea of the mistakes and pitfalls that many people have made before you. If you find yourself having done any of these in the past, you're not the only one. They're common for a reason and thankfully easily avoidable. Give the first date your best shot and if it doesn't go well, you can always go on another first date with someone else. If you enjoyed this video, feel free to leave a like and share it with a friend. Subscribe to Psych2Go for more content like this. Thanks for watching Psych2Go and are you looking for a cuddly companion that brings positivity and mental wellness to your daily life? Get your very own Psy. The lovable plushie is here to brighten your days. It embodies the spirit of Psych2Go and it serves as a reminder to prioritize your mental well-being. Its green leaf symbolizes growth, renewal, and the importance of self-care, whether it's for yourself or as a thoughtful gift for a loved one. Psy is ready to be your snuggly friend through all of life's ups and downs. Buy your side plushie today. Link is listed in the description box.